Hello, this is Metamicro again, and what I got for you right now is the Korg Beat Boy. Um, um, it is another one of those little gizmos that's from Japan. You can't get it here in America. Uh, I got it from Amazon um, and um, bought it from somebody who sells them in Japan, and they shipped it over, and well, here you go. So the Korg Beat Boy, I like to call it the Beat Boy, because I'm, um, um, well, it's from Japan, and I probably shouldn't say it that way, but uh, there you go. Um, what it really is, is uh, a tuner for your guitar, okay? So it has a, a headphone jack out, so you can listen to uh, headphones, and it uh, has a, a quarter inch input on the side, so you can plug your guitar in there, and then uh, tune your guitar up and do what guitarists do. Uh, one of the cool things that it also does is that it has um, a little drum machine inside of it. So let me just go ahead and turn it on. All right. And um, <laughs> I don't know how well you can see this. There's like a little guy behind a drum set in here, uh, a little tempo, 117. I've got it set at 117. And it's currently on pattern 20. So what this is for, so... You you can you know plug your guitar in here and then you can play along with the headphones and you can you know have a, a tempo going on so you can practice. Well, that's not how I'm using it. Uh, I'm using it because it it's a pretty handy little little drum box, a little drum machine uh, with some very interesting patterns. Um, unfortunately, you can't really sync it up to anything else except by doing it by hand, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, but it does do a couple of other really interesting things, which is it actually has a little built-in distortion. So it, it, it can actually, it, it can act as a, a really poor, I, I will say, distortion box, but it will act like a little distortion box. So you can put your guitar in there and do your little, you know, squeaky little jam with it and, um, and hear yourself playing with the drummer in the background. Okay. And uh, you can adjust the, the level of the drums so you can hear yourself pretty well. And we'll get into that in just a second. And besides that, of course, a tuner, right? So, so far, I mean, come on. Uh, this thing cost, I believe, uh, just 35 under 40, about 40 bucks. So for 40 bucks already, we've got a guitar tuner, yay. We've got a little cheesy distortion uh, little box where we can actually run things into it, distort it, and run it with the headphones, so we got distortion. And we've got a little drum uh, beat box. Okay, so to top all that off, to put the little cherry on top, is that it also is a recorder. It, this thing will record a track, okay, a stereo track. It'll record a stereo track. Um... Uh, is that a stereo track? No, I, I correct myself here. No, it will. it, it is a mono track, I believe. Uh, so it'll record a mono track of audio um, for about 20 minutes. Um, so, I mean, that's 20 minutes. So you've got a, essentially a hard disk recorder that can record 20 minutes. So what, what can you do with 20 minutes of recording time? Uh, you can do a whole lot. Uh, even if you don't want to use it for its little drum sounds and stuff like that, you know, run something in your input off your little tabletop setup, run it into here. If you're out in the field, push the record button, which is right there, and boom, you're recording your little live performance set. Uh, and then you hook it up to this little USB uh, connection in the back, and um, there you go. It runs right into your, your Mac or your PC or your Linux box, and boom, you've got your recorded track so that's pretty cool. Um, and uh, it also, if you don't want to plug things in, it has a little microphone in here. So you can actually, you know, it's got a little kickstand back here. So a little kickstand-ish. And, you know, and put your guitar in there, jam away, bam, da, 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 you know, and it will record at the same time. How's that? So you can jam to your drum beat, to your guitar, a little distorted guitar, and record it all at the same time. Run it out, put it in your DAW, whatever you want to do with it, and bada bing, bada boom, right? Awesome. All for 40 bucks. I mean, you can't beat that. I mean, there's, okay, so let's get to what it sounds like, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and start it, the beat up, and turn it up. Uh, if you've watched one of my other videos, uh, this is uh, what I've got it going, is I've got it, kind of, I've just got it split, the signal split, and it's going to uh, Dan Electro, 
a very noisy <laughs> distortion pedal, which has its, I mean, its own merits. And that's, that's why we have this kind of stuff in our, in our gear box, right? This is why we had this stuff in the studio. It has its own really noisy, unique kind of crackly squeaky flavor, which I like. Uh, makes it very glitchy. Some stuff really, really glitchy. And we have the Zoom Multistop MS100BT. Uh, and I've just got it on a simple little reverb to give it a little bit of flavor later on. So let's turn it up and let's hear. It surprisingly has like a little bit of bass kick to it, doesn't it? I mean, for just a little... Uh, essentially, it is a guitar tuner, right? All right, so let's mix up the beats a little bit, right? All right, groovy. Now, if you, it's, it's all in the timing here. Now, if you, if you change the drum pattern, you know, and you, you've got some sense of rhythm, you can do pretty well. Pretty seamless, right? Now, this one's totally different, so we... I won't pretend that I did that on purpose. I'll just go through some rhythms here. Got a little boys to men thing going on there. I like 70. We got a little bit of meat beat manifesto thing going on here. All right, all right. Adjust the tempo, of course. All right, not like not, not half bad, right? Uh, for a guitar tuner. Um, so. You know, if you if if you're doing this tabletop thing, you know this is one of those other cheapy kind of. And I always I keep saying that word, and I correct myself every time because it's not cheap; it's inexpensive. Um, obviously, it's not cheap because I mean, it's um, uh, if you've seen the the Gawkin uh, re review where I went over that thing, uh, this is much much sturdier. Uh, this is something you could throw in your gig bag and put in your pocket and whatever, and it's not going to get screwed up. Um, uh, not nearly as fragile. Um, so let me just go ahead and go over a couple other things here. Um, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to put a guitar in here and, and tune it uh, because, well, you don't need to send me tune up a guitar. And I think it's pretty self-explanatory. If you push the tuner on button and anything you have in the input, you've got the scale right there and it's going to, you know, tune up everything. Right. Okay. Um, you saw that when I turn this on, I'm going to turn the volume down a little bit, okay? I'm going to start it up here. Might as well have a little beat going while we do this. And I can change the pattern. Lots of different stuff. Right, okay. And uh, what you can do is you can click on the genre. And the, the way the, these patterns are set up, and I should point out, look at, uh, we're up to, there's 98 there's like 98 different patterns in here. Uh, there's got to be something in here that you can find useful. Seriously. There's pattern number 98. Okay. 
So this has been dry the whole time. Let's 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 sweeten it up, okay? Let's sweeten this up a little bit. All right, that sounds pretty useful. I could do something with that. Okay. Let's go ahead and play with the distortion pedal. So I'm going to turn this on, and it, that's on. That's running through input two, like as a, an FX loop here. So let's turn it on and let's dirty it up and see what we can do. Oh, you know what? Maybe we're not going to do that because I think the pedal's battery has run out. So no fun for you guys. So we're just going to have to imagine it being a little dirty. It's already kind of lo-fi gritty. Change the. Let's just push the genre button. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, you can change the the volume of the drum pattern um, in the background, as I was pointing out. So if you were playing this with a guitar, that's how you would kind of adjust the general volumes. Now, uh, what's kind of fun is. Now, if you're doing this tabletop thing, right? Uh, well, forget the guitar a little bit. Let's throw, uh, you know, throw a synthesizer in there. Uh, th throw something else in there and have that as the input. Uh, and then uh, you could actually distort it a little bit. And if you, you know, play that synthesizer and uh, have it hooked up to an external MIDI controller or whatever you want to do with it, uh, you could essentially just, you know, create your own little demos and. If you're traveling around and just having fun or at the park, whatever, take this with you or take one of um, uh, something a little portable, say like the Korg Voca keys or bass or something like that that can run off of batteries. Plug that bad boy in right there and uh, you could be doing all kinds of fun stuff, right? With the arpeggiator built into um, something like that and then timing it up with this. One, two, three. You know, you could do it easy. All right, let's change this to some other interesting beat because I'm that's already. All right. Run it up to one twenty beats per minute. All right, so that is the Korg Beat Boy. Um, definitely worth the money, in my opinion, because you can do all kinds of fun stuff with it. And uh, and um, even if you're not using it how it's intended to be used, hey, that's 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 the way I like to use stuff, how it wasn't intended to be used in the first place. Find other interesting ways to use this equipment. Uh, that's half the fun of uh, being an electronic musician is uh, working with electronics and hooking it up in ways that people weren't not expecting you to hook it up. Um, and so there you go. The Korg Beat Boy um, tuner and drum machine recorder tuner. Drum machine recorder tuner. Korg Beat Boy drum machine recorder tuner. All right, guys, I'll see you on the flip side. Please hang up and try again.